prepared for today. So today is Wednesday, and I'm going in now to do my oh, this part of my my jaw, my inner lip, my tongue. But where I was standing, I felt that the ground was vibrating. It's it's, it's actually fun. Today, I initially came to the clinic. I came to the clinic last week on Thursday, but I couldn't do my dental appointment, so I had to book ahead for today. So today is Wednesday, and I'm going in now to do my to check my teeth actually. So guys, we'll see how it goes, and when I'm done, I'll see how much I can show up the whole process. After spending, um, I spent, I think, one hour, 30 minutes, one hour, 30 minutes. So today, they did the first part of the whole process. They said they put the root scan out today. And then I should come back. Today is Wednesday. And I should come back on Sunday for them to put the crown. For now, I can't feel the part of this part of my, my jaw, my inner lip, my tongue. And this whole pass, they just feel numb because I was giving an anesthetic injection before the process began. So I'm going home now, and they said I should wait for two hours before I can take anything. And I shouldn't chew with these parts, guys. It feels so odd. The whole thing was like I didn't I could open my mouth for like an average of one hour. So I'm going home now, and I'll see you guys when I get home. Bye bye. guys so last day they said they did the root canal and today they did the crown i think so thankfully today's one was not as painful as it was not as painful as the one i did last week that was on thursday right because they had to give me an aesthetic then they had to give me an aesthetic then and the anesthetic lasted like four hours. They told me two hours, but it lasted four hours. So today's one was just like 30 minutes. I came here like 2 30 and I'm leaving like 15 minutes past. I think 30 minutes past three, right? So thankfully, my tea doesn't have a hole again, right? Guys, um 
I was supposed to take a taxi, right? So I, I booked a taxi already and the taxi was just one minute away from me. But where I was standing, I felt that the ground was vibrating, meaning that the metro was like under where I was, right? So I knew that the metro station had to be somewhere close, possibly, for the ground to be vibrating, right? So I, I just said, let me use my map and check where I can board the metro from because usually all this while that would be come to the clinic is being taxi and taxi costs around average of 10 lari to this place like it's a far distance on the average like 30 minutes 20 minutes no 25 minutes if there's no traffic but if there's traffic you could get up to like 40 minutes so I just said a metro is usually faster Metro can be fast and then cheap. You can enter metro for like one lari to like any um, on a particular route, right? For one lari. So I just said instead of spending 10 lari and I'm close to the metro already, let me take the metro. I checked if I had any card with me and I said I had my metro card. So even though there's no money in the metro card, I know I can like just top it up at the metro station. So I used my map and looked for where the metro was. I thought I was close to the metro, but saw an auto pointed ahead. And when I checked my map, it was like 500 meters away. So half a kilometer basically. And I can walk there. So that's where I'm walking to. That's where I'm walking to guys. And it's good to walk because it's the first day of spring. The weather is getting warmer. The weather is getting warmer. Today's um, temperature, the highest is around 22 degrees and that's fine. So when I checked for this week, like the temperature, we are not getting lower temperatures like um, less than, we're not getting less than 10 degrees again. So we are officially in spring. <laughs> we are officially in spring and that's awesome. Like I'm just wearing only my cardigan, usually typical winter. I want to expose my legs and I need to wear a jacket on this so it's, it's, it's actually fun so I'll be stopping this video I need to be sure that I'm on track and that I locate the metro station so I'll see you guys next time guys kindly like this video like this video guys please like my video the likes will help a lot I appreciate my subscribers and if you're new on this channel my name is Amara my name is Amara, I'm a Nigerian mom, wife, and I'm an out tutor. And I'm currently in um, the country called Georgia with my family. We've been here over one year. This should be our second year. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Metro? Thank you. A good way to get around in Tbilisi is to use your Google Maps. So make sure you have the address of the particular place that you're going to. Once you have that address, type it on Google on your Google Maps and then tap on directions. Once you tap on directions, it's going to give you three options. Options for taxi, if you're going to trek, if you're going to use metro, it will give you the length of time it will take. It will also give you the the price, the price range for the taxi. So select the ones that works for you so if you are going to be using bus or metro just take note of the bus station where you are supposed to stop or the metro station where you are supposed to stop and make sure you have an idea of all these bus stops or if you are going to do an exchange at some point because once you get down to the metro there won't be network as in once you're on the train itself 
below the ground there won't be network so this is a good way to get around in Tbilisi I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video bye bye